All right, so now to show how Sculpt has um, changed for this particular version. So this was just a practice Sculpt I did right before this. Um, if we press Q, we see them using hardops987.4. And we see that there's a new option here called Add Primitive, which I'll be going into later. But notice that I am in Dine Topo. And first things first is that if I tap Voxelize, I'm able to Voxelize. I'm still in Dine Topo. If I control click Voxelize, I'm able to adjust the voxelization amount and remain in Dine Topo and still voxelize and remain in Dine Topo. And this isn't even a major deal. I'm sure Blender disabled it for the best, but it was just something I wanted to experiment with over the course of sculpting because now that I've received a smaller pen display, I'm able to work in front of my keyboard instead of to the side of it, which um, eases the pain that happens on my side from working for a long period of time turned to the side, which was just really weird. This is um, actually a lot better. I'm just looking down at the desk. So I'm always looking for a um, really comfortable ergonomic way to um, do sculpting because, um, you know, it's just strange. I can't find a, a perfect comfort zone on the computer, but I feel that this particular Wacom um, 16 inches probably the closest and also it's pretty cheap so here we are just um, kind of messing with the base uh, jumping into ortho and to show this new mysterious uh, add primitive tool we'll just click it and we see that over on the side we have a line a circle and a box if you hover over the box the shape will become a box if you hover over the circle the line becomes a circle and my personal favorite if you hover over the line a center line will show up which we can't see unless we rotate it but basically we're snapping to the center the other thing is that because it's optimized to a pin you can roll the wheel in order to scale it if you're using a wacom remote like me but you're also able to hold shift and then move the pin hovering over the wacom in order to scale it and then let go and then just place it and you're able to drop your shape so right now i'm in grab brush and my favorite thing with grab brush is that you can turn on topology and literally grab just an area that's um, topologically connected. So because this is a separate shape at this moment, we can just move it around freely without moving around the other shape that we had beforehand. So that's what we're doing now, just kind of setting this up, always um, giving a little too much neck. That's a critique I get. So we'll press Q and we'll just voxelize it and you know what we'll control click it to raise the amount i actually like to voxelize things to a really simple state and it just makes uh smoothing and shaping things up just a lot funner of a process so that's really all it is um, with add primitive is that we wanted to add the ability for users to be able to just uh, quickly add a shape on the fly whenever they need it so to show it again um we'll just click on it and we see that we're able to just hover over the surface it can get a little weird if you don't have the mesh completely unified which is uh, just a known issue and I'm sure there's going to be quite a few requests with this thing but I found it to be quite a fun time and I wanted users to be able to experience it in its infancy before it began to grow into something more complex or even separate so we'll press Q and we'll just voxelize and one of my favorite things about Dime Topo mode is the ability to rapidly uh, detail an area and get it under control. So here I am just uh, kind of rubbing it with the scrape and just getting some planes in there. And then of course we got pinch at max with our fall offset to sharper. And we'll just grab some areas and just pinch them in. Just kind of planarizing things. And because of our brush settings of Dime Topo, it's adding detail as it pulls the geometry so it's um, a really nimble detailing way to handle dealing with these kind of low poly results so as you see just a little bit of <clears throat> sorry a little bit of polish and um, pinch and smoothing mainly not even polish but mainly pinch and smooth we're able to turn this into a much more solid refined piece and so if we we're doing the same thing here, we would just pinch this, pinch this area, and then just smooth in between 
to uh, get it under control. But when it comes to modeling um, planarly, you know, there's roles, and same thing with Sculpt. Sculpt has a, a different set of roles when it comes to obtaining a planar form. So we'll just use the draw brush and just create a groove here. And we could just come back with the scrape, hit one side, hit the other. And then with pinch, we really just make that the law of the land. So now that's that big crease line is part of its form. And I love just going around with pinch and just pulling areas until the geometry just gets real tight. And just smoothing out the tension that happens in between from the um, merciless stretching. But as you can see, just short work. And the best part is, you know, if you need to, you can just quickly voxelize, which is just kind of jumping back a step for me. Um, in fact, undo is just really weird with it. But in addition to that, you're also able to go in and quadraflow, which quadraflow is new, but um, I don't use it as much as, say, voxelize, because voxelize is just a ticket. And then, of course, on top of that, decimate, the classic way to just simplify your mesh on the fly if need be. Um, before I close out, I must also add that you can go into brush and there's a panel that will list brushes and you can just drag this up and down in order to just jump to a particular brush that you need. In fact, um, let's undo a couple of times and we'll just press Q, go to brush and cloth should be right in front of us, meaning that we can now just grab the surface and just cloth it up without a whole lot of issue. However, we probably see that we probably want to voxelize it just a little bit more. But previously I was testing this out on an example and it was actually falling to cloth a lot quicker. But I think it was because of the amount of detail that I had going on on the model. But all in all, I just wanted to do a quick sculpt demo to talk about ad primitive.